flavor you want, Rick. Oh, sweet. I just have these hajmolas. Are there any there that are just like the standard yeah, traditional well, hajmola flavor? These two. Oh, I want just straight up plain old hajmola. This is regular. That's what I want. To keep you regular. Regular hajmola. <coughs> have you had one of these in a while? It's been a long I don't need two, I can tell you that. Have much. two, Rick. No. No, it's been a while since I've had one. But I remember when we tried it for the first time, we just stuck it in and chewed on it like a tablet of. <laughs> yeah, I like it now. <laughs> really? Oh, I hate it still. <laughs> I actually like it now. Oh my God. <laughs> it's terrible. His eyes are watering. Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> it's wild. I actually kind of, I legitimately like it now. This just in. Rick would like to eat Satan's ass. <gasps> Welcome back to our stupid reactions. <laughs> it's some core out, Rick. You can follow us on Instagram and Twitter for <laughs> juicy content. Thank you, son. Patreon. Follow us on Twitter account. Subscribe if you haven't. Hit the like button. It is very emblematic of Satan's asshole. I no. know. It's exactly the perfect analogy of the journey with India over the past three years. How, at the outset, before I knew anything about it, I had presuppositions, and there were a lot of things not to my taste and then just fell in love with it and everything became palatable, even those things that at one time I thought weren't. Nope. <laughs> like, I had, I think I told you this, we went to the Bengali community event and they were making fresh homemade pan. It was not just good, delicious. Very, very different than the crap we had the first time we ate it. Yeah, but we had it in India too, and it I was know. still shit. This was really, really good. Well, I, I you know what was so good about it? I it wasn't so perfume strong. Yeah, I, th I think that's the only kind we've had, at least uh, on this channel, either in India, um, outside of probably that one, is the perfumey kind. There's all different kinds. There's like dessert, yeah. like there's chocolate pond. No, this one, this one I had was definitely desserty. It had the same flavor, but the difference was like if the one we had was pressed together and intense and infused and overwhelming, this was balanced and spread out and really nice. Balanced and spread, just like your mother. Yep. Uh, today we got a – this is actually from a new channel, but I'm quite excited. It's very similar to um, the Village Cooking Channel. Okay. But it's a granny. Okay. She's making a thousand samosas, and it's just a, and it's a similar vibe. So you just see her cooking. That's awesome. And so also, do you call anybody older auntie, or at a certain level, do they get to granny? Oh, I, I think it's all always. So if it's not family, you're just addressing an so elder. So Johnny says auntie to grandma. Yeah, it, it is uh, across the board. If they're older than you and they're female, it's it's just respectively auntie. And uncle, male and female, if they're older. But Bengalis have very different words for, like, your mother's mother is a grandma and your father's mother is a grandma, but those are two different Bengali and words. And your mother is a mother trope. But those, those are two different Bengali words. Mm. It's not grandma for both of them. Same thing with uncle on your father's side versus uncle on your mother's side. Interesting. It's not just uncle. But I think for respect, it's still okay. auntie. Now, there may be a Bengali word that they use other than, the like, just auntie and uncle, but... I think it's kind of universal throughout India, auntie and uncle. An interesting bit of tidbit information. I had samosas for breakfast this morning. Okay. Just the Just potato the, and the, pea? The potato and pea homemade by our lovely, wonderful, uh, adopted uh, Mashima um, mini. Do you call it her was, auntie? Uh, Indrani calls her Mashima, That's which is like her, her adopted mom, basically. Uh, okay. Yeah, her Mashima. Interesting. Anyway, so this is going to be like a similar vibe to the village cook, but it's going to be great. A, but a, a, an auntie, wonderful. Here we go. Mm -hmm. 
You're not an auntie. <laughs> I bet he's the one that runs the YouTube channel, though. Potatoes, boil them, mash them, put them in a stew. They're a hearty vegetable. I love potatoes. Me too. They're having a party in there. I think it's peeling them, maybe. That's a mosh pit of potatoes. Or grinding it, I guess. Yeah, peeling it. That's a lot more efficient than just... I've never seen that machine. Me too. I like it, it's appealing. <laughs> Maida. Maida. Oh, that's so satisfying. That's so satisfying. She's got large yeah. pots and pans. Oh. You should ask Minnie if she can make a thousand samosas. Yes, she probably, she could. She has a catering business. Oh. Maybe. Yeah, she probably could. That's an interesting extra step of cleanliness they've taken with the gloves on their hands. You don't see that very often. Nope, not in India. At least not in the videos we've seen. Oh, that's a nice machine. Wow. That's an industrial samosa cutter. We did not have that when we made that on my channel. <laughs> Suddenly I want Krispy Kreme donuts. Oh, that's satisfying too. Uh. I want to touch that stuff. That's what she said. Oh, this is so satisfying. Oh, look at it. All the folds. Nice. So the ones that aren't the right size, they just fall off and I bet they just recycle it through. Do you ever just eat raw dough? Yes. I do too. Steph thinks I'm so weird. <coughs> Irish people love potatoes. That's a large pot. That's a lot of ghee. Dang. Wonder if that was hand cut or if they have to machine to cut up the onions and stuff. Get 
Get all those spices. I love the smell of kasuri methi. It's very pungent. This is so satisfying and nice. Right? And yeah, very comparable to the village cooking show. I bet their hands are used to the heat, so they're just like going straight in there. They might have cooled it down with cold water. Maybe, maybe. But yeah, those be real hot. That's so satisfying. Yes! Gotta have some peas. Oh. Mm. Now it's getting good. Coriander leaves, spinach. Spinach, okay, cool. This has to be for like a wedding or something. <laughs> So hungry. Tell you what, I am not a big breakfast fan, but samosas and dosa for breakfast is spectacular. Ooh, that paneer looks good. Oh, uh, it's an art. Yeah, to, to fold yeah, samosas. Yeah, it's like it's like dumplings. Yeah, I'm sure you can make them with Indrani one time, but man, it. I, mean, I could It took me so hard. It was so difficult. Not as difficult as some uh, dosas. To wrap the dosas in extremely, it extremely hard because it's so thin, right? Yeah. Mine did not come out well. But yeah, I love watching. I used to work at a. Oh, that's gonna take them forever. I used to work at Chin Chin, the the, the Chinese restaurant. Yeah. Years and years ago, and there were ladies that came in solely to make the dumplings by hand. That's all they did because it's such a time difficult yeah. art and time consuming. Yeah. Oh, that's gonna take them forever. I know. That's how you'll get a, a hundred out of all that. So is she making the chutney for it, maybe? Do you have chutney with your? I did, yeah, beautiful green. Don't know all that she had in it, but it was a glorious green chutney with Probably it. Probably coriander. Probably. <laughs> no, I bet they're gonna put them in oh, that oil. Oh, fry them, yeah. Yeah. But I'm, but I'd love to see if they've got to be putting a chutney together for that. Yeah, they're Indians. They don't just eat samosas. Got to have samosa with chutney. Look at that. So you you got to be careful. You got to put them in one at a time. Also, the, the auntie there is definitely like sticking her hand in the oil. Oh, yeah. Why do grandmas just know, like they have no sensitivity to like heat when cooking? Years of deadening the senses because they did it over and over again. Oh. Oh, I want to eat that! Oh. You know, like that village one, but be, you don't need the background score. Oh, looks nice and crispy. Oh, I'm so hungry. <clears throat> oh. There's such an awesome, durable little snack thing to eat. Take with you. Good carb source, caloric highs. Got a little veggie in there that's good for... Oh, I wanted... Oh... Thought we'd get more. That's a satisfying sound, though. Samosas on samosas. <laughs> I want to see her eating one. Though. Yeah, exactly. I okay. would have loved to have seen it all the way with the chutney, and then let's let's bite into those bad boys. So this boys. was 2020. Maybe they're. I, <laughs> maybe you're doing it already, but I would have at least her take a bite of oh, yeah. the stuff she makes. Yeah, just to see her. 
even though I, all know, I know that's the not end. the Indian way, yeah. especially the Indian auntie way to yeah. eat first. <laughs> no, but at least take it all the way through to people eating. And, and if you're going to make, I'm assuming you're, you're going to have something to pour on there was a lot of great boys and dip them in. There was a lot of great ASMR in this, though. Like in terms of samosas falling onto so the samosas satisfying. to the, uh, the dough, the dough folds. Yeah, oh. it was so satisfying. It looks so absolutely delicious. Do you like those videos where they're just like cutting soap? Oh yeah, <gasps> it's extremely. Everything satisfying. about that is so satisfying. Um, and <laughs> where are the samosas we had in India? We had them in a few places. Wait, which ones are you thinking of? The one specific. Because didn't we have them like right off the bat in Delhi? Did we? No, we had uh, South Indian food, remember? Yeah, but I think we also had while we were there. I mean, no, we were cause... only there two days. No, because the videos we did that day were South Indian food first, because of course. Oh, I'm Delhi. confusing it with Big Big Beast Tasty Nuts. That was born in that trip. Uh, no, I think... In Mumbai, we were greeted with samosas. No, no, we weren't. Those were um, those weren't samosas. They weren't. Uh. Uh-uh. Okay. Uh, they were um, it was something else, and that was really sweet. That intro, that welcome we got from all the beautiful Mumbai stupid babies yeah. who still in touch with, came um, really really close with <clears throat> a lot of the folks we got to meet in person on that yeah, trip. Absolutely. Um, but anyways, that was phenomenal. I'm hungry now. I'm very hungry. Um. Mm. Yeah, I would like to eat some of her food. Yep. Um, so please let us know more of her videos, other food videos we can react to, to make us. We need to just have like food next time we do. Yeah, <laughs> that's that'll bring Micah here. <laughs> just some of these. We yeah. should do. We know we did a Panipuri eating contest. We should do a samosa eating contest with Micah. I have many, Megum. <laughs> Is that? I, I think I could. How many do you think you could get down? Okay, of, of minis that I ate, which are your standard kind of samosa. I had two for breakfast this morning. I bet if I was doing it and pushing, I could probably eat six. Wow. I could probably eat two. <laughs> the eating f- contest are They're thing. filling. Yeah, it's just potato. There's very little more filling than potato. I know. I, I would feel gross after eating six of those big bad boys, but it'd be so good. It'd be so good. Anyways, please let us know more videos of hers or other food videos we can react to down below. Just-